Hello, it's Nick, and today I want to show you how to measure user experience. We can use Heart for that. No, not that Heart. This Heart. Heart is a framework created by Google that organizes metrics into five distinct categories. Happiness, engagement, adoption, retention, and task success. Each category has its own specific goals, signals, and metrics used to assess different aspects of user experience. Goals are very aligned with your user's needs and your business objectives. Signals are all about how the success or failure can be identified by user behavior or user attitudes. Metrics. Quantifiable user experience metrics that you can use to measure experience. Let's dig into each category. Happiness. Measures how satisfied users are with your app. Goal. Make sure users find the product helpful and easy to use. Signals. Users participate in surveys, product ratings, and leave in-app feedback. They provide positive feedback. Metrics. Customer satisfaction score, net promoter score. Let's focus on the customer satisfaction score. This metric can be calculated by dividing the total number of satisfied customers by the total number of responses and multiplying it by 100. A score of more than 70 means users are satisfied. 50 to 70 is OK, and if it's less than 50, it means that there is a room for improvement. Engagement. Assess how actively users interact with your app. Goal. Users enjoy the app content and functionality. Keep engaging with it and discover new content. Signals. How much time users spend in the app. Metrics. Average session length, session frequency, daily to monthly active users, conversion rate. Let's focus on the daily to monthly active users. It's called stickness. The higher the ratio is, the stickier the product is. Adoption. Tracks how many new users start using the app or a new feature. Goal. Onboard new users and ensure that they understand the app or feature's value. Signals. App downloads, sign in for account and a user new feature. Metrics. Download rate, registration rate, and feature adoption rate. Let's talk about the feature adoption rate. It's calculated by dividing the number of the features monthly active users to the total number of users during the period. Ultimately, you want to have 100% if it's a core feature. Retention. Measures the ability of your product to retain users over time. Goal. Increase users' loyalty. Keep users returning to the app. Signals. Users stay active renew subscriptions and make repeat purchases. Metrics, churn rate, loss of users, and subscription renewal rate. Let's focus on the churn rate. Churn rate is a loss of users and it's calculated by dividing the number of customers lost during the period by the number of customers at the beginning of the period. The churn rate varies drastically depending on the nature of your product. For example, in the context of software as a service, if you measure monthly churn rate less than 1%, it means excellent performance. 1% to 2% is good, and more than 5% is likely to indicate issues with product fit or customer experience. Task success. Evaluates how effectively users can complete tasks. Goal. Users achieve their goals quickly and easily. Signals. Users can easily find and view content, as well as complete tasks. Metrics. Task completion rate. Task completion time. Task completion rate is a percentage of users who successfully completed a particular task in a product. The higher the rate is, the better the user experience is. That's all. The last thing that I want to mention is that you can use hard framework for any project or product. Let me know what you think about this framework in the comments. Thank you.